Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we'll understand how to connect Remix ID to GitHub so that you can push all your code from Remix ID to GitHub. So let's get started. First come first, the step one is that you need to go here down to plugins manager. So when you click this plugin manager, this window will open and it has all the active modules for you. Some would be active, some would not be, but in the search bar, you just have to write dgit. So it will show your module got dgit that has some documentation linked to it as well. You have nothing else to do rather than just click on the activation button. So as I've already deactivated this, there would be a green activation button as you can see over here. So you just click it and until it turns gray and says deactivate, right? So once it's done and dgit is activated, just go to your GitHub and in your settings, original GitHub settings, just go down and you'll see some developer settings over here. So click on developer settings, then click on personal access tokens and as you can see, I've already generated one for my remix, but you can click on generate new token. And when you click on that, a new token would be generated for you. There would be some kind of description that you want to uh, make sure that you write so that it's, you know, you have in your mind whenever you see it again, that this personal token is being used some here for the remix ID or somewhere else, right? So you want to do that. Then give some permissions and finally create the token. So once you're, you have generated this personal access token, you just copy it and go ahead to the original GitHub where you want to create your own repository. So click on new and a new repository would be created for you. So I hope you all know how to create a basic repository. And if you don't, so, uh, no worries. You just name the repository, maybe Solidity or something, right? Solidity one to whatever. You, yeah, I don't think so. Solidity one to maybe, right? You name it. Then you set it public. You make sure to initialize it with the README file, and then go ahead and click on Create Repository, right? Once you have created the repository, head back to Remix ID where you want to now go back to dgit so you will see something like this some plugin uh, not exactly plugin uh, dgit icon you just click on it and it will navigate you to another place that is over here so this is a dgit command center i would say what you have to do next is you just have to go to the git changes and when you click over here you'll find some kind of uh, empty box where you will be asked to put your personal access token and your name once you have done that don't worry there there is no button for save it will automatically save it and you will be linked to github but now you have to link your github repository that you have made already that was solidity and one two you have to link it to the remix id or your personal workspace that you are working on so what to do for that is that you head towards dgit and under git remote here you see git remote you name origin you set the name of origin because initially when we initialize a new repository the root is origin right and then you paste the url for the new repository that solidity one two repository that you have created and click on add remote what this will do is you it will add your newly created github repository to the available remotes as you can see over here right and you can also delete it whenever you want so when you do this work, it will automatically ask you to create a new workspace. So means you will have a, your personal own workspace where you can actually work and you can push all the 
code that you write in that workspace to your github so let me show you an example of workspace how this looks so this is a workspace you can see a default workspace a code sample workspace and the solidity workspace where i'm currently working and writing all my code that i'm pushing to my github right so let's get back to dgit and once you've done you've added the remote next you want to just send an initial init message so head to source code on the top one and write initial commit maybe or any other message that you want to write before you click on git commit make sure that you add these changes so it's very easy in remix id that if you want to push some of your codes to github you just have to click on this add buttons so you add this button if you want to so if you don't want to you just can click on cancel so it would be removed that file would be removed so all the changes that you make in any of your codes you just have to click on add button and then click on git commit that would send a message set a message of initial commit so as we know that whenever we push some code on github we first want to hit commit and then we click on push so we've hit git commit and now we want to push our data so hit back to clone push pull and remote click here and you'll see commands under commands there is local branch that is main and the remote branch that is also main now all you have to do is click on push and all your data would be transferred from your remix id to your github once it's done you can go to your github you can refresh it and you can see that the code is already there right one small tip and hint for you that if your code does not open in github means you have sent your code uh, you have pushed your code on github but somehow github is not uh, detecting the language the solidity language if it's not detecting by default then you can do one thing is that you can go ahead and click here so that you create a new file or you can just create a new file over from here in your workspace that is linked to github and go ahead and create a file called dot git attributes right so you click on this dot git attributes and you have to just add this single line of code that says star dot sol linguist dash language equals solidity and you push this along with the code rest of the code whichever you want to save in github you push it to github and github would be able the linguist library of github which is responsible for detecting the language in github would be able to detect which language the code is written in and your code would be visible easily so that's it for this video i hope this video for, was useful for you if you have any doubts do send in the comment and keep learning